You're very welcome back. Now, Chrissy Gibson from Take the Cake has stayed with us. And if the porridge we served <laughs> earlier was too healthy for you, how dare you? Well, here's your chance to add on some of those extra calories instead. Welcome back, Chrissy. This ought to do the trick, too. You're this sticking around and back those calories. Yeah, so what we got? we're doing something super naughty now, but uh, also something kind of nice for summer to bring some sunshine back into our day, because it's yes. sort of a... Well, the rain's horizontal out there. Out yeah. there. It, it is. is bucketing down out yes. there. What so, are we doing? So these are uh, white chocolate lemon truffles. Oh. And uh, they could not be easier to make. You're actually... You're not going to believe how easy these are to make. There are only five ingredients, and there's really only um, one trick to it, which okay. I'll get to in a second. We're using 175 grams of white chocolate. Now, white chocolate can be tricky. Yes, it's well versed through sh the chefing world that white chocolate is a bit hard to work with. It really Why? can be. Why? Well, y y you see these? These are white chocolate baking morsels, aren't they? White yes. chocolate oh, yeah. chips. Okay. Little chips, yeah. These are not what you want. Oh. There's a reason ah. for this. These are built not only to taste delicious, but they are built to not melt on you. Ah, they, right. When you put these into cookies, their job is to stay intact. They hold right? their form, yeah, they yeah. Can, right? And so anytime you see a chip, a morsel, you know it's pretty much not going to change shape for you. Okay. It'll, it'll melt but it's not gonna budge. So don't use chips. So what white chocolate would you buy, Chrissy? You know what's perfect? Buttons. Oh, really? White chocolate buttons, milky buttons, go for it. Wow. This is what I like to use too. Uh, my, my favorite local discount store has uh, <laughs> uh, white chocolate bars, yeah. large ones, uh, at a very good price, and they're also an excellent quality. So that's what I good. use today. Okay. And uh, I, just, I just break that up. This is 175 grams, yeah. and that's all we want. Um, this is gonna make, depending upon how small you roll your truffles, uh, maybe 30 of them. So, 175, wow. yeah, maybe. Can I just point out as well that uh, my learned colleague here mm -hmm. to my right, whom I admire and look up to, not just professionally, but as a friend and as a role model. <laughs> of course model. you do. Uh, well, we were given three each and she's eaten two thirds of them already. <laughs> Did you like that? There's one left in the play. I was given three. I was going to say, you, you I only got you. one. How come Simon got three? You got three. You ever eat two now, of them? She's got her coconut one left. You can, you, I, Simon, notice I didn't give you any coconut. Yes, I she's noticed so that. She's so precious. Thank you. Yeah. He's so, so, yeah. So, but Anna, you got a coconut one. You know, Where's white God? chocolate. I just had to do a bit of research for the Twice. item. <laughs> Twice. Twice. Very just to make sure. You, she took one for the team. You she are a team Yeah, player. I'm kind like that, Chrissy. The white chocolate. delicious. It's good. I'm glad you like it. So you're melting the chocolate. Chocolate is very sweet, though. Yes. And when, when you'll see me in a moment, uh, roll these in icing sugar. But if you if it's too sweet for you, there's an alternative. You can roll these in coconut. I didn't bring ah, any coconut right. today to roll them in, but I did bring a few to taste. Yeah, because so, I don't like spicy. Ah, we've got our 175 grams of white chocolate melted in a double boiler. Water down here, not touching the top. Uh, pot on top, and then. We're adding to that 60 grams of butter. I've actually already added it. Okay. Um, and uh, 50 mils of full fat cream. Okay? Wow. No right. Now, we want to melt that all together with the zest of a whole lemon. Okay? Can I ask a stupid question, Chrissy? It's I know it's unusual for you to ask a stupid question. Shocking. Yes. Could you, <laughs> thank you, Anna. Could you uh, do the same procedure with milk or dark chocolate? Is it the same truffle? Or, or, or are we in danger there? <laughs> uh, no, it, it's it's pretty much the same. Uh, that'd be really nice. Because the way you looked at me is like I just committed a crime. <laughs> Did <it> really? Yeah. <laughs> so, so on top of all no, of his complaints, because I always anticipate Chrissy, getting guff from you. Simon. On top of all of his complaints about the porridge, he doesn't like white chocolate either. So he's really just a difficult customer this morning. Today, I, I'm the bold child today. You know what I need to start doing, Anna? Chocolate? I need to start like bringing a bowl of chocolate chips who to just like stick in front of them. So I'm going to try the weirdo. I just stick them perfectly vain. And, if uh, you, you know. do regular chocolate or Orange yes. zest and a bit of uh, well, there we go, ma maybe, you see? maybe 10 mils of fresh orange juice. Thank you for mm. that I question. really avoid extracts though. I don't use lemon extract. Why would you mm. when you can use pure lemon juice? Yes. Just take a little, just that, that's about a teaspoon of lemon juice. Or if you want to use just a half lemon, just you know, squeeze a little bit, maybe a teaspoon in there, okay? So it's a bit of lemon juice. Don't use extract. It, it tastes, it, fresh lemon tastes so much nicer. I also try to avoid lemon in a bottle. Just use fresh lemons. When you need the zest anyway, you might as well use the lemon. Yeah, from. of course, use it for both. So, 
once this is all melted and smooth, I don't know if you can see that, but it's, it's nice yeah. and yellow. It's a nice yellow color, so you don't need to add any food coloring. We're gonna chill that now. Uh, you wanna chill it for at least a half an hour, but to be honest with you, I find that when you chill it for only... Here can I just point out that... Here you go, Emma. Uh, Stop rotting me out! What an empty place! I mean, not there now. Well, I'm sorry. Will that get you through the next two minutes, do you Can think? I tell you, I would resist a lot of stuff, but chocolate is my absolute weakness. I've as, seen as you resist well yeah. food here, no, but I this, know is, what you mean. You're, this is Olympic <laughs> standard now. Cheers! So you you're a bronze medal now at the minute. <laughs> Now she's got the whole oh, thing. Sorry, Chrissy. Continue, oh, please. please. I'm glad you like them. I do. So, oh, she does, yeah. <laughs> you want to chill your white chocolate truffles for about a half an hour. Now, you will probably find, you see how runny it is now? Yeah. You might find that it's still a little bit too runny after just a half an hour. So if you want to keep it in for an hour, go ahead. Mm -hmm. When you get to your bowl of chilled white chocolate, just take a teaspoon and take a bit off, roll it in your hands, and if you find that it's too soft to roll, just put it back in the fridge yeah. for another minute, okay? okay? You're going to take your truffles and roll it in icing sugar, make them as big or as small as you want, okay? Or coconut. Now, or coconut. now Anna's yeah. got my plate. Here, here we go, here we go, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. No, that's okay. There's another six gone off it's in your hands, <laughs> sure, look. <laughs> You'll find that the, the, the mixture on the sides of the bowl is uh, it's a bit more firm than the mixture in the, uh, the center of the ah, bowl. Right. So scrape the sides mm. first. So you just want to roll your pieces, your, 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 your balls of white chocolate lemon truffles in the... Okay, you know what? Every time I'm on somebody laughs at stuff I say, I can't say anything. Sorry, and, we and, are very no, childish. Sorry, Chrissy. you're saying we. I did not laugh. <laughs> Either you that. have too much chocolate now, you see. You need to lie down in a dark room for a minute. <laughs> if only we could turn the cameras on the crew behind the cameras. I know, yeah, yeah. That would only be you know, fair, they, they stir it up Jill's with their actually laughter. changed colour, look. look. <laughs> so anyway, after you've done that procedure... Yeah, so now I'm rolling my truffles into... Uh, Circles. Yes. And uh, I'm rolling them into icing sugar. Now, you only need about 25 or maybe 30 grams of icing sugar. That'll mm -hmm. do it for the whole lot. Okay. Um, again, like I said earlier, if, the, if you find that these are too sweet for you, try rolling them in coconut. Another thing that you could do is you could roll them in ground nuts. I like ground macadamia nuts <laughs> on these. But, okay, there it goes again. It's it goes you know again. what, Jill? It's you. Jill, it's you. Jill is our floor manager today, <laughs> and she is lolling all over the place. Um, I have the sweetest tooth in Ireland, um, Chrissy. In fact, I have a certificate at home claiming it. <laughs> but I don't find them too sweet because of the lemon. Yeah. Okay, good. The lemon's gorgeous. And do, do you know what does that? It's the zest. Ah, right. The zest, okay. it, you know, it, it really it gives it that sort of... Um, bitterness or that edge that sort of cuts the sweetness because you need it with the white chocolate. White chocolate just is sweet. It's very sweet. They are It's a fantastic. lovely way to serve coffees after a, a dinner party or something, isn't it? Well, you wouldn't like them. You wouldn't get them out of the sitting room, you can <laughs> me? Where's Anna? She's still in the kitchen. She's there at 10 past 6. She's scoffing. 9 o'clock now. Scoffing Remember. the dessert. So these Ice couldn't, sugar all over your mouth. These couldn't be easier. Chrissy, Five ingredients. You. Your Thank white you, chocolate, Chrissy. cream, butter, lemon. Thank Beautiful, you. delicious. Right, full busy. recipe details are up on the website. Or, of course, you can check out takethecake.ie for more of Chrissy's stockists and additional recipes. And of course.